All right, uh, Doug, when I took the job as your assistant five years ago, I never would have guessed the impact you would have on my life. I couldn't think how to tell you how grateful I was for everything you've done. I finally came up with the idea of thanking you alphabetically for all the impact, for all the areas in which you had an impact in my uh, professionalism. So, <laughs> thank you for making me a better uh, amanuensis, a uh, body man, or company man, as they say in Japan. As your deputy, D, I became a uh, better editor, factotum, girl Friday, and handler. Uh, working with you, I also learned how to be a better interviewer, journalist, lieutenant, mouthpiece, and negotiator. Uh, so thank you for making me a stronger office manager, uh, paper pusher, right-hand man, scrivener, and translator. And finally, I enjoyed being your understudy when necessary, your voice, or even your wordsmith on occasion. And in sum, thanks for giving me the job of executive assistant, X, get it? Also, your zookeeper. Thanks. Bye. Hello, Doug. This is Marty. And uh, wishing you a happy retirement as you're going into the same land that I am. Um, I hope you do well. Looking forward to seeing you on Saturday night. And please, no more kisses on the mouth. Because that's my least favorite memory. Take care, buddy, and do well. Doug, I can't think of anyone who will enjoy retirement more than you because I don't know anyone who's as passionate as you are about as many things opera, travel, politics family, New York sports team, uh, and most importantly, people. Nor can I think of anyone who deserves retirement to more because over the 40 years I've known you, I've never seen you rest, stop, leave an option untried, or even back down. And because you have welcomed all of us and invited anyone who wanted to participate with you in your explorations and adventures. What in Texas we like to call the y'all come spirit. And I've been privileged to be one of those people to enjoy much travel and opportunity with you, whether it's Bayreuth or Salzburg, or Madrid, or Tokyo, uh, all wonderful trips. Um, the, um, you are always ready to do more, to get out, to uh, bargain for one more thing to and to invite us to meet friends. Thank you for that. Um, we will certainly miss you in the policy debate in which we've all been involved. But more than that, we'll miss you personally. But I don't think you should feel you'll be forgotten because oh, I can hear now, hopefully over a good scotch, many stories such as, remember when Doug did? Did Doug say that? Or what would Doug do now? The, um, uh, anyway, thank you. Thank you for all your support, for your encouragement over the years, for letting us participate in this grand adventure of your life. And we wish you all the best. Hi, uh, this is Marco Kubo. And uh, uh, the, the, what was the favorite memory uh, with that? You? So actually, um, we have been spending a lot of time for the past 20 years. It's very difficult to select the most, uh, the favorite memory of all. But uh, if I choose one event which is unforgettable, is that uh, in the late uh, 1990s, we went together uh, to the Met Stadium. Actually, Doug, uh, you uh, invited me kindly to the Met Stadium. And for the first time, we said, like, let's go Mets, let's go Mets in the stadium. And then on the way back, we chatted a little bit about accounting standards. And then we discovered that what Japan thought uh, is only issues for Japan was shared by the American people and we decided to work together. 
So before I was simply a researcher doing uh, writing reports about what's going on in the US, nothing more than that. But for the first time, I brought that to Japan and I introduced the key people to there that started the collaboration between Japan and the US. So actually, uh, that was uh, probably the uh, the one uh, one thing that uh, the, which, which changed my life a little bit because the, uh, after that. Uh, we started the collaboration, and that was kind of turning point. And if I uh, if I talk about the first moment that I met Doug, uh, was the um, in uh, mid 1990s, I was attending the NASC Model Investment or Working Group in Chicago. And my first words to him was that uh, to you was that um, uh, since my English was not good, I didn't understand some part of the documents that he was drafting. I ask a question, uh, what do you mean by this? I don't understand the reaction was he said he said like well that's true and he changed the the, the language and I was so surprised. Wow, so the world of NSC is just like the world of quantum theory because the observation will change the subject. Like that. So this is my memory. And then uh, I, I, I think uh, uh, we we are very happy to have a long-term relationship uh, with whole family so i'd like to pass the microphone to masako who also shares some uh, memory whenever we meet wherever on this planet he always welcome our family and having dinner together and that was the most favorable um, memory was and he always took care of good uh, uh, our ch my children and having we enjoy having a friendship with you and we wish uh, uh, have, uh, we're gonna, we wish you have a wonderful re retirement uh, life being a friend forever thank you very much I wish you kids here with us, but he is on football camp. So, well, please, like, congratulate your successful retirement uh, from the whole family. Thank you. Dear, dear Doug, we have know each other for at least uh, 15, 15 years, and uh, I've uh, I've learned a lot of things from you, and uh, it's particularly two things uh, that I remember. I remember the first time when I went to an NIC meeting and I was completely amazed by the, the size of 3,000 people and I met only a few people that I knew and the curious thing was that the few people I know I said what what was most what do you remember from this NIC meeting and they said no not in particular of course we, we met and we spoke to Doug and of all these 3,000 people of course Doug with his unique uh, and his unique capacity and his unique network was a very was a very good contact to have to get introduced to what's happening in the world, what's happening in in the U.S. And uh, we have worked on accounting, we have worked on on, on solvency, and uh, you always know that you can get uh, good input, good uh, good comments from from Doug. And sometimes when Doug thinks that uh, you have uh, you have things to learn, then he comes to you and he says, "Ulf, it's uh, it's time to do a little book." around the lake. And that uh, comes back to an event that we had together in uh, in Copenhagen when uh, Doug explained me his uh, his view his view on uh, insurance accounting and what I should believe and what I should not believe. So I'm uh, in a way we are we are we are sorry that you will not show up in our working context because it was of course uh, both technically and personally a good, uh, a nice, uh, a nice encounter. But now we particularly appreciate that uh, you can enjoy your, your retirement. You have time for your hobbies, you have time for your family, and you can enjoy the fact of, uh, and the privilege of live in the middle of New, New York City. And uh, I wish you all the best, and I hope that we will find occasions to meet now and then also in the future. Very all the best and very well. Really enjoy your time and talk. Best regards from Brussels. Hi, Lenore Merrima here. Um, long ago and far away and way back when, when the Alliance of American Insurers was still in its downtown offices, I was one of at least two staff people that was picked to do an internship. 
in one of the Alliance regional offices. Um, I was sent out to work for a week in Albany with Albany and New York City with none other than Doug Barnard and, and John Cucci. I was supposed to learn what a regional office at the Alliance did, one of those cor corporate nerds you know, who, did, who, did under, who didn't really understand. Um, the Alliance was a small organization and it often didn't have the revenue it needed to, to do what it really needed to do. But one thing the Alliance staff all had was a cleverness about them and learning to do a lot with very, very little resources. And the one thing I do remember about the week I spent uh, in the New York City office is that in New York, the gimmick was really important. Doug, at every meeting, had some little chotsky or some little giveaway that he did. And I'm here for the week, I don't even know what the, the thing was, and the, the Christian Dior and Gold Gill has kind of worn off this, but the Dior label is still on this. I've had this for 35 or 36 years now, in briefcase and purposes. And the purses. This is one of the little giveaways that, that Doug had. You can see that it's, it's very well worn, but very, very, very well, well cared for. Uh, thank you, Doug. Uh, as a good lawyer, I never asked Doug the question of whether this is knockoff or not, because I didn't really want to know the answer to this, but it, 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 it has served me well. You know, all the best, Doug, in, in your retirement. I hope that somewhere, someone on this videotape remembers to tell the top hat story. Otherwise, you should tell it yourself. Uh, I, 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 th I see the headlines in the fall being, Doug Barnett retires and the Chicago Cubs win the World Series. Thanks. Hi, Doug. It's Norris Clark. As long as I've been attending the NEIC, it always seems that you've been there. You are an institution, and with your retirement, a lot of institutional knowledge will be lost for the ins insurance in industry who depended on you very much. You and I may not have always agreed on all issues, but I admired your depth of understanding and your advocacy on those issues, which you always seemed to bring up as the last speaker every time audience participation was requested. I will miss seeing you at least three times uh, a year at the NEIC, but the very best to you for a long and prosperous retirement you have earned it. When I first met Doug Barnard, he told me he was from Texas. Now, I'm an Iowa farm boy, but even I knew Doug was not from Texas. It would be like Marsha Cohen saying she was from Minnesota. What it taught me about Doug was that he was all about reinvention, from a regulator to a lobbyist, from a state extrovert to an international expert, from an association executive to a consultant. So Doug is all about reinvention. Retirement is just his next reinvention. So mazel tov, Doug. It's been great working with you. Doug, it's Hugh here. Uh, I've sent my greetings from the other side of the pond. Uh, we have many years worked together to bring a single global voice to, of insurance on lots of issues. I remember the early days of the US and European uh, work on uh, accounting developments. I have very fond memories of the high level principles we worked on uh, probably in about 2004 in Barbados. Um, uh, and then later we worked with the C CFO Forum and uh, Guinea. Uh, and then more recently, we've also discussed many global recent regulatory developments. Throughout that time, you've been a very valued colleague and friend. have so many happy memories of a visit to watch the, the uh, Wagner uh, at the Met. Uh, my first experience of a baseball match uh, watching the Mets. And then uh, very nice dinners we had uh, uh, just under Brooklyn Bridge, I seem to remember. In all that time, you've basically been a, a true voice um, of the global insurance industry. Uh, you've also been a true gentleman, and uh, I've been very honoured to work with you. So I pass on my best wishes for your retirement. It truly will be an end of an era as you move on, but I just wanted to wish you uh, 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 so many uh, good times in the future, in your future retirement, and hopefully we'll stay in touch. So once again, uh, it's been a real pleasure working with you, Doug, and uh, uh, many happy memories and very happy retirement to you. Thank you. My first encounter with Doug was many years ago. It was my first NAIC meeting as a young reporter. 
and I found myself in an insurance accounting uh, subgroup meeting room, which inexplicably was packed. The material and the discussion were unfathomable to me, but I had had the meeting circled by my editor as one that I needed to attend. So I stayed there and tried to make sense of what was going on when suddenly a man in the back of the room started laughing and, and not just a light laugh but a, a robust laugh and as any good reporter should I went to interview the laughing man and ever since then I've looked to him for guidance and knowledge and help as I cover the insurance industry and its regulation and I've had meals with him, I've seen him in many cities, and I've always enjoyed his company. I love seeing him from across the room and knowing he's there. Uh, sometimes he leaves early and it takes a little bit of the fun out of the NEIC meeting, so I don't know what it's going to be like covering these meetings without him there, but I um, hope that he continues to enjoy the opera with his wife Ruth uh, and I hope that when he's in Washington although we have fewer cultural offerings than he might find in his in New York that uh, he will look me up and uh, I look forward to hearing that laugh again that I first heard uh, inappropriately or appropriately depending on how you look at the situation I think the subject matter was something called the prudent pigeon model, if anybody remembers that, um, so long ago. So, Doug, um, thank you for all of the years um, laughing and uh, helping me make sense of insurance regulatory accounting. Whoops, my dog wants to get in there now. Um, he's had enough of being outside in the Washington summer. Okay, thank Hi, you. Hi, Doug. I come to offer tribute. You have a real genius for finding useful talent and turning it to advantage, and I've truly enjoyed working with you. We were first introduced about 15 or 16 years ago when you were the featured speaker for my trade association. Most of the CEOs that attend usually are looking for the best sales opportunities, but you offered them some predictions that have proven true. Uh, you told them to follow the discussions in Britain on new accounting standards and the subsequent discussions with the EU. Uh, where would we be today if the companies as well as the regulators and legislators had paid attention? Because forewarned is forearmed. I'm really going to miss you, Doug. You've been a mentor and a leader. I hope you'll be um, comfortable and relaxed not having to catch that midnight Manila flight. Come back often and stay in touch. Hi, Doug. Diane Barron's Allstate. Timestamp, August 2016. Trump-Clinton election around the corner. Couple things. Happy retirement. You are a great man and a true blue friend. When I think of you, I think of the following in somewhat chronological order. IMR, Model Investment Law, my little baby curling up in your arms in Disney World, that would be 19 years ago, NEIC codification, final OTI, root word, root acronym being OTTI, international accounting standards and in particular short duration contracts, GNA, a great lobbyist and advocate, someone you want on your side of the issue, definitely. Thank you for all the memories. Here is one more for you. This is not the first time you are hearing this from me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Happy retirement! Happy retirement! Bye!